go. So um, the last time you saw this, uh, I hadn't done the handrail. Um, so now the uh, fluted newels are glued in at the bottom. These are solid, they're going nowhere. Um, and the one at the top is now in as well. There we go. Um, so that's glued. Now the handrail is still currently in one section. I've been waiting for a replacement bit for the landing up here um, because um, the edge was damaged. But um, again, I, I just I just like to say a big shout to Pairs Stairs. Actually, um, no quibble. They um, turned it around in two days for a replacement. It came today. Um, and also um, somebody had left off the infills for both the base rail that's about to go on here uh, and for the underside of the um, underside of the handrails but yeah they turned it around no extra cost thank you very much guys um, superb service so I, I can't recommend them highly enough really They're, they've been brilliant um, so you can see uh, just to, to recap about what we talked about before what I talked about where I would drill it out full size um, you have to take a bit of a leap of faith I'm afraid um, with regards to just doing it. Um, it's it's very tricky when the you know, when the handrail comes down. The easiest thing to do is to cut the handrail off square. Um, normally, you do a compound angle when you have two different angles, and you would halve it. Um, but actually, the way this works out, there's there's very little difference between the two ends of the handrail section. So actually, there's not that much shaping that needs doing. Um, just just out with sandpaper, really, um, when they're when they're glued and bolted together. So there's your cap or your starting cap. Um, so obviously this is the first, you can see the ramp um, from here to here. So obviously this is cut and glued, um, it's been shaped. There you go. And sanded within an inch of its life so far. So there's the handrail. Now this was the section I talked about with the gooseneck, um, which is correct. I've got it sorted. It is exactly as per my wall drawing. Um, so that's what it looks like. So a little bit of work to do here. It's a little nick out of that thing where I did one of the cuts, which is very frustrating. Um, this really was a leap of faith and quite a lot of work. Um, I could show you the bolts. You can't really see them because I plugged them today, but I use zip bolts for these. These are the bolts like these ones here. Uh, oh, sorry, these ones here. Um, but you can see there's quite a lot of angles, cuts, um, so as standard, uh, if you remember in the first video I showed you the gooseneck, well the gooseneck now is this long to here, it's literally just like this corner, so it's not really a gooseneck at all, uh, kind of looks more like a gooseneck now there's a, an up ramp on it, but um, then on top you get the 90 degree cap here, which was a bit longer before, but obviously I had to cut it back to suit. Um, then I try very hard to keep this as a full circle um, here when I glued these two together. I had to cut these back to the smallest point that I possibly could without them um, working. And so it's kind of dictated really where my spindle line is going to be. So there will be, um, by the end of today, some track on the floor filling this hole. But I think realistically the spindles are going to sit... There's a, there's a nosing here that I'm going to replace. Um, but I think the spindles are probably going to sit about here somewhere. So they're not too far back. Might just need a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a bit of decorative edging or something. I don't want to get too mad with it all. Um, so there you go. Yeah, as you can see, a little bit of work to do. There's a couple of nicks. Not quite sure where that one's come from. There you go. Um, but I guess now the light's on it, you can see them better. Um... Yeah, so there you go. It's, it was, it's a lot of work. I mean, this whole handrail comes off in one go at the moment. It's not glued at all, so you can hold the whole thing up. Um, obviously, the bit that's missing is that this is section here. Um, I've just created a, a new or reclaimed a half newel to go against this wall here. Um, it's just going to be a f straight one. Um, then I can bolt that to that. And then that's that whole handrail done, and the whole handrail will be as one. So there you go. That's how it looks. Um, I'm very happy with it um, so far. It's going to look fabulous when it's all done. I will just show you how hemlock stains as well. Um, hang on a minute, I'll go and get some samples. <laughs> 